be along pretty soon. What are you waiting for, honey? I'm playing horse, and it's hard to play without a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Daddy will play horsey with you, darling. Thanks a lot. Don't do me any favors. Last time I played horsey with these kids, I had flat knees for three weeks. <laughs> Call the doctor to unflatten them some other time. Okay, sweetheart? Please, Daddy. No, you cut it up. Now, you stop batting your eyes at me, young lady. You save that for the boys in kindergarten. Please. <laughs> you are such a phony. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Oh, come on, Daddy. I want to play horsey. Sweet. <laughs> idea. I'll sing that song for you because it fits you to a T. Listen, listen to this. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Gosh, oh, get up, how'd they get so lit up? Gosh, oh, get up, how'd they get that size? Oh, golly gee, when you turn those heaters on, oh, is me. Got to put my cheaters on. Oh, jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers, how they hypnotize. Where'd you get those eyes? Where'd you get those eyes? Where'd you get those eyes? <laughs> Did you like that? Yes. Want me to sing another one? No. <laughs> I don't want to play horsey now. Go on, get lost. I got work to do. Here comes your horsey now. Russ, play horsey with Linda. Russ? What's the matter? Nothing. What's well, the way to come into the house? Can't you say hello? Hello. Rusty, come back here. Why are you covering your face? Rusty, you're hurt. <laughs> wow, look at that eye. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get that peeper? <laughs> Black eye if I don't get a cold compress on that right away. Don't do that, Mommy. I like horsey well, black eye. <laughs> Never mind, Linda. Rusty's in no mood for games. Darling, why don't you run up to your room for a while and play with your doll? What'd you do, run into a truck? Yeah. I had a fight with Johnny Stewart. Yeah? What about? Well, he wouldn't let me cross the street unless I paid him a dime. <laughs> You want to charge you a dime to cross the street? Yeah. What's he running, his own private toll road? I said I wouldn't give it to him. You said the right thing. So he slugged me. What'd you do? Oh, you don't have to worry, Daddy. I knew what to do. That a boy. You gave it to him, huh? Yeah, and he went and bought an ice cream cone. <laughs> You mean you didn't hit him back? Are you kidding? He's tough. Well, he picks on everybody. He even made Tommy Greenson give him his football. And last week, he made me carry his books for him. He made me, he made me. What do you mean he made you? You don't have to stand for that. I didn't. He knocked me down. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that? Last week, he made you carry his books, and now he gives you a black eye, and you don't hit him back. What am I going to do with you? How on earth did you get this? I hope you haven't been fighting. Don't worry, he hasn't. <laughs> Johnny's been doing all the fighting. How do you like that? The kid picks on him, he never even hits him back. Well, maybe Rusty's too much of a gentleman to get involved in a street fight. Yeah, especially when the other kid can lick me. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous, young fella. Absolutely ridiculous. The next time Johnny Stewart picks on you, you're gonna show him that he's picking on the wrong boy. You're gonna wail into him with both fists swinging. He'll do no such thing, Danny. She's right. I'm a happy little boy who loves life. <laughs> How can you love life being a mouse? It's my fault. The whole thing is my fault. I should have taught you to defend yourself long ago. Well, it's not too late, Buster. We're starting training right now. Training? That's right. What are you going to do, turn this place into a gym? No, we'll do better than that. I'm taking them over to Max Bears and let the champ straighten them out for me. 
You're going to take this little boy to Max Bayer, the ex-heavyweight champion? Of course I am. What's oh, wrong with it? Danny, that's ridiculous. Do you really know Max Bayer, Daddy? Of course I know him. I know him real well. Where do you know him from? Where do I know him from? We were in the same ballet class at finishing school. <laughs> Left elbow in close to your side. The hook hook off the ball of your foot. <clears throat> Try a couple of those. Come on. Come on, let go. I'll get it with Johnny now. Let's see you go. Come on. I'll get it. Get it close. Watch out for the head. Now back up. Get the, get the head out of there. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi, you, Daddy. How's the boy? Good to see you. Be with you in a minute. All right. Okay, boys, that's enough. Now come on, take it easy. That's it. You take him in the shower there, Johnny, and give him a good rub down. Okay, oh, champ. Great, Dave, eh? great. You got to see you, champ. You're looking great. <laughs> nice to see you here. Fine. Is this your boy? This is my boy. <laughs> Hi, you slugger. Hi, champ. Hey, that's really a beaut. <laughs> Looks like somebody really hung one on you. <laughs> yeah. What'd you do, drop your guard? I didn't even put it up. It's <laughs> <laughs> like I told you over the phone, champ. You know how it is with us actors, always on the go, and I just... Well, I never bothered to teach a boy to defend himself, so well, that's why can, I brought him to you. We can take care of that, you. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah, come on in here, Rusty. Yeah, boy, I can see he's got the makings of a great champ already. Uh -huh. Throw back those shoulders, train him. Throw out that chest. Pull in that stomach. Boy, he's as strong as a bull. <laughs> <laughs> himself no time at all. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do, well, I'd like to teach you a few of the fundamental points. Oh, and I'll be able to fight Johnny Stewart? You're not only be able to fight him, you'll knock his block off. Oh, boy, show me a fundamental point. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, right now, I'm going to show you the stance. Now, uh, come on, Danny, put him up. <laughs> come on. Oh, me? Well, yeah, you. I'd expect the boy to learn if we don't show him. Oh. Now, put him up. What? Put your guard. Put your guard. That's right. Uh -huh. Now there's an example, son, of a man carrying his guard too low, which leaves him wide open for left hook to the jaw. <laughs> now if a guy keeps taking too many of those and starts hearing bells that aren't ringing, that's bad. Now that couldn't have happened if he'd kept his guard up. I'll show you. Come on, Daddy, keep it. Come on, get in here. Oh, I gotta show him. Now, this time, put your guard up, Danny. Put it up? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's an example of a man holding his guard too high, which leaves him open for a shot to the solar plexus. <clears throat> <laughs> Did I hurt you, Danny? No, I always wanted a caved-in stomach. <laughs> Your dad's a great kidder. <laughs> now, instead, I want to show him how to to throw a real Sunday punch. Yeah. Stick out your chin. Wait a minute! <laughs> Show him, not me. I don't want to learn how to fight. He's the one on hockey. He can't learn just by watching. He needs some practical experience. Well, that's right. Great idea. Yeah. yeah, great idea. I'll be back Tuesday. Oh, God. <laughs> Come here, Rusty. I'm not going to hit you. I'm going to let you hit me. But it'll hurt. Oh, don't worry. I can take it. I mean, it'll hurt my hand. <laughs> Take care of that, son. Here, put yeah. this glove on. Get it on. Come on, now. Here we go. All right. All right, now. Now. Put your left out like that and let it go. Don't worry. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Let it go. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Let it go right on the butt. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't the right direction, but it was a heck of a bunch. <laughs> I would just stand there, because I'm going to show my pal here yeah, don't show him anything. how to throw the good old Mary Ann. Not anymore today, champ. Not anymore, because he's just a little boy, and he can only consume so much learning in one day. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're getting just, we're just getting warmed up. You want the kid to learn to fight, don't you? Yeah, but if he learns anymore today, it's going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> we, 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 we don't want to take up any more of your time on account of your busy... You ought to answer your phone. It's been ringing for the past two minutes. Hi, Kathy. Say, the Williams house.
household seems strangely quiet this morning. Where is everybody? Well, Danny's shaving, and uh, Terry's at the library, and Rusty's at Max Bear's gym. Ah. Uh, well, how about some coffee, Oh, Mary? thanks. I'd love... <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold it. Hmm? You know, I just took a shower, and I think I got a little water in my ear. <laughs> I would have sworn I heard you say that Rusty was at Max Bear's gym. That's right. He's been going there every day for two weeks learning to be a fighter. How do you like that? You miss the fights on television one week, and you don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, at least you're wonderful. <laughs> hey, hi. Hi. How's the world's greatest press agent? Well, at the moment, I'm a little confused. What's going on? Something wrong with that magazine layout? Nothing wrong with the magazine layout. It's about Rusty being a fighter. What is he, a flea weight? <laughs> Look, Liz, I'm sending Rusty to the gym to learn to defend himself like any normal American boy. Oh. To learn to be a ruffian, you mean. Oh, come on. Kathy, now what harm can come from his learning to defend himself? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Sugar Ray. Rusty, do you want to play house? Beat it, kid. Why, well, I've been waiting for you. Look, I'm in training. That means no dames. <laughs> <laughs> this is a normal American boy. All right, all right, cut it out, Rusty. He's just fooling around. Now, stop it. Oh, sister's been waiting all afternoon to play with you, and I'll pay some attention to her. Okay, let's play. Put up your dukes. Rusty! <laughs> Come on, Ledger. Linda does not play with roughnecks. Come on, darling, you go up and play with oh, your dog. Kathy, let's not make a big thing of it, huh? Hey, Daddy! What? Answer the phone. <laughs> great magazine story. I can just see it. Now, listen. Danny Williams has a lovely wife, two charming daughters, and one punchy son. <laughs> Don't you stop fooling around. You know darn well the phone didn't ring. Then see who's ringing the doorbell. <laughs> listen to me, Rusty. Boy! <laughs> Lock up and flew over that time. You can't... <laughs> like that and everybody laughs. Well, they're not funny. You say going to a gym doesn't do him any harm. Oh, honey, he's just impressionable. All kids like to imitate. Then let him hang out at Carnegie Hall and imitate Yasha Heifetz. Imitate him? I bet he can't even pronounce him. <laughs> oh, you women killed me. We fathers left it up to you to bring up our sons. We'd wind up with a bunch of little Lord Fauntleroys. You look great. I bet that Johnny Stewart doesn't bother you anymore. Well, he tried yesterday. No kidding. He wanted another dime to cross the street. Yeah? What'd you do? Well, I didn't have a dime, so I gave it to him in change. What? <laughs> five here and five here. That's my boy. Had a baby. Oh, bully, he'll push you around anymore. Uh -huh. Now, go ahead. Give yourself some cookies and milk. None of that cookies and milk for <clears throat> me, Dad. Nothing but raw carrots and lamb chops. Raw carrots and lamb chops? Yeah, that's what Max Bear ate when he was a champ. Yeah, well, I mean, don't be too impressed, huh? Boy, another flock of... Cut that out! <laughs> you know, Danny, that's the first child I ever saw being raised according to the rules of the New York State Boxing Commission. Will you, Liz? Oh, Danny, she's right. He's not a little boy anymore. He's a pocket-sized hoodlum, and it's all your fault. Thank you. I consider that a compliment. If it's my fault that my son no longer gets pushed around by the neighborhood bully, if it's my fault that my boy can cross a public street without having to pay a toll charge, then, madam, I accept the compliment and the blame. Now, please, honey, if you don't mind, let's drop the subject. Liz, let's look the magazine layout over, please. Look, I don't think this picture's flattering. Well, they're going to use a two-column color. Mrs. Williams? Yes? I am Mrs. Beckett, yes. and I have come to speak to you about what your son, Rusty, did to my son, Gregory. <laughs> please, well, what is it about my son, Rusty? What is it about? He hit my son, Gregory, for no reason at all. Oh, come now, Mrs. Beckett. Rusty wouldn't hit Gregory for no reason at all. Well, I did. I was just standing there. And he came up to me and said, Hey, kid, how would you like a trip to the moon? And then he slugged me. <laughs> you sure you didn't slug him first? Well, of course he didn't. Gregory is a gentleman. Well, Rusty's a gentleman, too. Oh? 
Well, if you think that, then you ought to have a little talk with some of the other mothers around here. Other mothers? Your son has been terrorizing the entire neighborhood. <laughs> Do you know that yesterday in the park, he hit Freddie Collins for no reason at all? Oh. And the day before that, it was Joey Phillips and Bobby Slocum. And the day before that, it was little Norman Stevenson. Oh, dear. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not get excited. Uh, Rusty? Russ, come out here, son. Look, I, I assure you, we, we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Huh? So, you snitched, eh, you big sissy? That's enough of that. Walking in here, hanging on to your mother's skirts. All right, all right, all right, all right, stop it now. I want you to tell me the truth, young man. Remember, this is your father talking, the truth. Did you hit Gregory? Uh, yes, sir, I did. Joey, Normie, and Bobby, and other boys, you hit all of them, too? But why, Russ, why? Well, I didn't want to just keep hitting Gregory. <laughs> I'm ashamed of you, son. I I'm ashamed of you. What's the matter? Isn't that why you sent me to the gym to learn how to fight? Oh. So that was your idea. Oh, that's a fine way to raise a boy. I'm sorry, Mrs. Beckett, but uh, my son has, has this thing all wrong. Look, Russ, I didn't send you to the gym so you could pick on the other kids. Now, if you think so, I will change that thought pronto. Uh, Mrs. Beckett, uh, I'm sorry. I assure you, this won't happen again. Well, I hope not. Any more incidents like this, and the authorities will hear about it. Come along, Gregory. All right, all right. <laughs> Well, I hope you're satisfied. You've disgraced me before all the other mothers in the neighborhood. And you, young man, you haven't heard the last of this. What do you want from me? I only did what Daddy said I should do. You should both be punished. Now, honey, please, will you take Liz into the kitchen, have some coffee or something? I'd like to talk to my son. Come on, Liz. Keep your guard up, boss. I hear the kid's a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, son, sit down. Look. Oh, stop crunching on that thing like a hungry jackrabbit, will you? <laughs> Look, baby, this whole thing is my fault. I just, I pressed you too hard, that's all. And I'm sorry about it. Now, I don't want you fighting with the boys in the neighborhood. Now you got me all mixed up. First you tell me to fight, and now you tell me not to fight. Sweetheart. I want you to know how to fight, to protect yourself against any of the bullies that might push you around. But I don't want you to be a bully yourself just because you know how to fight. Then how are the kids gonna know I can lick them? <laughs> That's not important. It's not important at all that they should know. It's important that you yourself know. You take Max Bear. He's a plenty tough guy. He's not afraid of anybody walking. But Max Bear doesn't go out looking for fights. He doesn't look for trouble. He walks away from a fight many a time. I've seen some show off, walk up to the champ, some show off that wants to impress his girlfriend, and he says to Max, you don't look so tough to me. I think I could knock your block off. Now, what do you think Max Bear does? He knocks the guy's block off. <laughs> He's a champion, a true champion. And like a true champion, he knows he could lick that show off with one hand tied behind his back. So he just laughs it off and walks away. Oh, come on now. I bet Max Bear would never walk away from a fight. Would you believe it if you heard it from his own lips? He'd never say it. I'll prove it to you. Come on. Honey. Yeah? Uh, don't let Liz get away, but we've gone for about an hour. Where are you going? I'm taking Rusty back to the gym. Well, I just don't know what to do about it, champ. He's... He's not just learned to defend himself when he has to. He, he's been going around hitting all the kids, Johnny and Normie, everybody in the neighborhood, just going around hitting them. He is, huh? Yeah, and I keep telling them it's wrong, that he doesn't have to prove that he's tough. And, and he won't listen to me. He won't listen at all. I, uh, of course, I could make him listen, but I thought it would be better if, if he heard it from you. OK, Jimmy. Rusty, your father's right. You know, when a guy's really tough, he doesn't have to go around proving it. He only fights when somebody else starts it. Oh, come on.
Come on, champ. You're just saying that to please my oh, father. Russ. <laughs> Honest engine, Rusty. I mean every word of it. You never make me believe that. No, sir. Nothing you could say would make me believe that Max Bear would walk away from a fight. And that's the way I'm gonna be. What am I gonna do? He won't believe me either. That's for you, Johnny. And that. And that. All right, and you, Joey. That's and enough. you, Bobby. I said stop it. I can lick all of them, and I'm gonna prove it. All right. Well, thanks a lot for nothing, champ. What do you mean by that, Crack? I mean, I mean, I mean, thanks for ruining ten years of careful bringing up. Thanks a lot. You've made a, made a neighborhood hoodlum out of them. Now, wait a minute, Danny. You came looking for me. I didn't go looking for you. Yeah? Well, it was the sorriest day of my life. What do you think of that? I thought you had sense enough to understand that I wanted you to build up his body, but not at the expense of his mind. What have you been feeding him? A lot of gutter philosophy? Oh, now, wait a minute, Danny. You're no, gonna... you wait a minute. I thought you were a champ, a true champ. But it turns out you're nothing but a bully yourself, and that's what you've made out of the kid. No, wait, you're getting way out of line, man. Well, how'd you like to try to push me back in the line? What? Yeah, you're a tough guy. You're a fighter. All you fighters are alike. You know how to talk with your fists. Well, I understand the same language. What do you think of that? Well, that's a way to settle an yeah, argument. Yeah, that's the only way I know how, Max. No, Come wait on. a minute. Don't wait a minute. You're such a tough guy. Come well, on. Let me be reasonable. I think I can knock your block off. What do you think of that? Hey, come on, stop him, kid. This guy's flipped his rocker. Kid. Put the stop. kid down. Don't hide behind it, kid. Come on and fight. I don't want to fight. You sure you don't want to fight me, Max? I know I don't want to fight you. Say, what's the matter with you? What are you trying to prove with all this, anyway? I don't have to prove anything, Max. You've just done it for me, and I'm grateful. Grateful for what? For showing this unbelieving monkey here that a true champ, a real fighter like you, would never beat up on a guy he knows darn well he can lick. You couldn't prove it to him with words, but you just proved it with your actions right here now. How do you like that? I like it a lot, Max. Hallelujah. I like it a lot. Gee, Max Bear, the champ, backing away from my father. <laughs> I never would have believed it. Well, you believe it now, don't you? I gotta believe it. I just saw it. Boy, wait till I tell all the kids that my father, Jay's Max Bear, all yeah, around well, the Yeah, well, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, I have everybody in the neighborhood picking on me. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry, chap. I'll protect you. Hey, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you try one of these experiments, let me in on it first, will you? I'm sorry, Max. I know I played you a dirty trick, but <laughs> I, I had to think of something. Well, you sure had me scared. I had you scared? Uh -huh. For a minute there, I thought I was going to have to belt you one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take that chance, but then I was relying on your being a gentleman, and you certainly are, champ. Thanks. Well, I sure admire your courage. Oh, well. Look, I don't like to brag or anything, but I got a lot of faults, but being chicken isn't one of them. I don't scare so easy, Max. Yeah. Well, Denny, can you imagine what would have happened if I hit you like this? <laughs> Johnny Stewart. Not again. Yeah, but we settled it by talking. Well, that's good. That's the best way to settle an argument is by talking. You know what he said? Huh. He said his father could beat you up. <laughs> no, I don't pay any attention to that. All boys are proud of their fathers. That's okay. And you know what I said? No, what I you said, said. Are you kidding? My dad chased Max Bear all over the ring. <laughs> now, you didn't tell him that, did you, Russ? Yes, I did. Uh. And he said, well, I still think my father can beat your father. My dad's six foot four and weighs 220 pounds. Wow. <laughs> I was just about to say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, but I didn't. boy, I'm sure glad you didn't say that. <laughs> I just made a date for you to meet his father tomorrow morning in the park. What? Trust me. Trust me, you didn't. Trust me. 